Sigma have just released a brand new everyday lens that not only boasts a fantastic versatile focal length, but a constant aperture of f2.8. Introducing the 28 to 70 mm f2.8 Contemporary, both available for Sony E mount and Panasonic L mount. And we're super excited to take this lens out for a spin. So the agenda for today's video, we're gonna have a look at the external features of the Sigma 28 to 70, the internal features of the Sigma 28 to 70, and comparing both of these to the Sigma 24 to 70 mil art lens. And then we're gonna have a look at how it performs out in the field and its image samples. So now running down the external features of the Sigma 28 to 70. So as you can notice, comparing this to the Sigma art 24 to 70 and similar lenses on the market around this focal length, you'll notice that the lens is actually quite compact. Now Sigma have made the contemporary lineup to always kind of be an all-rounder lens that boasts pretty decent optical performance, but more so in a lightweight form factor. Now one of the best things about the Sigma 28 to 70 mm 2.8 is that it's so small and it's so light. It weighs around 470 grams, which is a lot lighter than the Tamron 28 to 75, which weighs approximately 550 grams. This is a fantastic lens with this size and this weight for you to be able to take this out every day, whether you're going out for dinner or whether you're gonna go out for a full day shoot, the 28 to 70 from Sigma is a really light and compact solution that won't take a lot of real estate in your bag. Secondly as well, comparing this to the Sigma 24 to 70 mm art lens, although it looks kind of similar, the lens is a little bit different. The actual design of the lens is based off the 24 to 70 mm art lens, but on the inside of the lens, there are a few differences, which I'll go over later, which makes it a lot more lightweight. So now having a look from the front to the back of the lens, you have a versatile 67 mm filter thread, which will accommodate to basically most filters, whether you're looking for a polarizer, ND or UV filter, there are plenty of options for 67 mm out there in the market. Secondly, behind that, you do have a manual focus ring. It's got a pretty decent resistance to it. So if you do plan to use this for video, it is quite feasible to do so. Moving back from that, you have a zoom ring that goes from 28 to 70. Now comparing this to the 2470 Sigma art lens, you do get an extra four mils of width. However, 28 is still a pretty wide focal length to work from. At the back of the lens, you have a metal lens mount, and as mentioned earlier, you can get the 28 to 70 in both a Sony E mount or Panasonic L mount. Now, the 28 to 70 is not weather resistant, but it is dust and moisture resistant, which will get you out in most weather scenarios. So now, having a look at the Sigma 28 to 70 mm f 2.8 internal features, comparing this to the Sigma R 24 to 70 lens, the Contemporary does have fewer elements. It has 16 elements in 12 groups, and it's got two FLD and two SLD, and three aspherical elements to help combat any chromatic aberrations and coma. Now, although it does have less elements, the way it's optically constructed does help cater for the lack of elements, so you can still get an excellent image performance. To back that up, it has a nine rounded blade aperture diaphragm with a maximum aperture of f2.8 and a minimum aperture of f22, giving you a pretty large versatile aperture range to work with. And with the nine rounded blade aperture diaphragm, you're gonna get some pretty decent bokeh when opened up wide. Thirdly, it's got two layers of coating. You've got a super multi-layer coating. You've got a nanoporous coating, and this helps combat any kind of surface reflections, ghosting, and flaring. And finally, in terms of autofocus, it does have an internal stepping motor that's super quiet and quite snappy. So testing the 28 to 70 mil outside on the field, it's been great. The 28 to 70 mil is super quiet. The autofocus isn't loud at all. And I can't speak for the Panasonic system, but pairing this lens with a Sony full frame system, it works fantastic. The autofocus speed is super quick, snappy, and best of all, quiet. Uh, one of my favorite things about this lens, using it out on the field for so long, it's so lightweight. Like it's 
One of those lenses that I'm not going to be too fussed about in terms of carrying it around all day, even when I'm traveling because the lens is just so light. And despite it being so light and small, as you can expect from Sigma, the build quality of the lens is fantastic. It feels solid, it's a nice reinforced plastic. And for those who also like to mechanically use um, the lens to switch between focusing, just with a little flick of a switch, you don't have to fiddle with anything too much. So let's go over the samples from the Sigma 28 to 70 mil. We paired it with the Sony a7 III and we were pretty impressed with the results. Images came out pretty sharp and of decent image clarity. You've got great edge-to-edge -edge performance. However, we do recommend if you are shooting wide open at f2.8, if you stop it down to f4, you're gonna get some pretty decent sharpness performance throughout the whole image. However, at f2.8, you do get a nice result with a little bit of soft edges. Now, in terms of the overall experience with using the camera, Outside in a sunny environment, the lens performs quite well. With the fast and snappy autofocus, it makes that whole experience a lot better. You've got a minimal focus distance of 19 centimeters, so you can get right up and close. And with the versatility of a 28 to 70 mil, you can shoot it out wide and you can shoot some nice portraits as well, making it a very good everyday lens. Overall, combined with the 28 to 70 mils versatile focal length, fantastic optical performance and fast focusing speeds. It makes it a great everyday lens. So my final thoughts on the Sigma 28 to 70 mil f2.8 contemporary lens. Now over the years, the only lens you could get for close to $1,000 that had a versatile focal length and was f2.8 for the Sony system specifically was the Tamron 28 to 75. And I'm super glad that Sigma have come out with a brand new 28 to 70 mil that boasts a constant f2.8 performance and is smaller and lighter than the Tamron 28 to 75. And one of the best things about this lens as well that it also caters for the Panasonic L mount users. And despite it lacking those elements that the Sigma art lens does have, the inspired construction from the art series and the overall optical image clarity on the 28 to 70 is more than you can expect, especially for the price tag. Now, who can I see this lens for? If you are a first time full frame user, or if you're a person looking for an everyday lens and doesn't want a lens that's super heavy or really obnoxious, the 28 to 70 is a great lens, whether you're an enthusiast, street photographer, videographer, or a professional looking for a nice, compact, fast zoom lens, the Sigma 28 to 70 f2.8 Contemporary is a great option. If you're looking for that little bit more edge, then go that little bit further with the Sigma 24 to 70 mil f2.8 art lens. However, honestly, for most users and for practical use every day, the 28 to 70 Contemporary is more than you need. Now, if you have any questions on the Sigma 28 to 70 mil f2.8, pop them in the comments below or drop into our store in Sydney on George Street. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, and our blog for all our latest updates for giveaways, competitions, as well as promotions and events. And finally, if you enjoyed our video, hit the like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos as we upload videos regularly.